So hi there students, welcome back to another video lesson. So for this particular video lesson, so pag-aaralan po natin is quadratic functions. So natakal na natin yung quadratic equations and then yung previous video lessons ko about quadratic inequalities. So for the last topic for uh, grade 9 mathematics quarter 1, so we'll have quadratic functions. So in here, uh, ang topics natin has something to do with graphing na. Okay. So, makikita nyo na dito kung paano ginagraph yung quadratic functions. So, ang pinagkaiba ng quadratic equations, inequalities, and functions. So, yung equations, of course, meron siyang equality symbol. And then, yung inequalities naman, yung apat na inequality symbols na na-present ko na sa inyo. And then, yung quadratic functions naman, function of x or f of x wherein kapag inequate natin sa 0 yung given quadratic uh, functions so magiging quadratic equation po yun okay so let's start so for our lesson objectives first we will model real life situations using quadratic functions so minsan hindi tayo nagiging aware na yung bawat topic sa mathematics ay may application sa real life Okay, so minsan nadadaanan lang natin, nakikita lang natin, hindi natin alam na ah, application na pala yun ng mathematics. So dito, sa next slide natin, makikita nyo yung real life applications ng quadratic functions. And then, we will also represent quadratic functions using table of values, graph, and equations. So magkakaroon tayo ng brief introduction sa quadratic functions dito, kung paano siya ginagraph. And then, makikita nyo kung ano ang graph ng quadratic functions. ba ang linear functions, ginagraph siya, or linear equation, ang graph niya ay straight line. Okay, so dito makikita nyo kung ano nga ba talaga ang graph ng quadratic functions. Okay, so nasabi ko nga kanina, uh, merong real life applications yung quadratic functions na minsan hindi tayo nagiging aware. Like for example, ayan, yung unang image natin is McDonald's. So, kung nakikita nyo yung parang pa-curve, na yun, pabaligtad na letter U, ayan, isa po yan sa application ng quadratic functions. So, ganyan ang itsura na magiging graph ng quadratic functions. So, mamaya ipap ipapakita ko o sasabihin ko anong tawag sa graph ng quadratic functions. And then, yung pagtalbog ng bola. Okay? And then, yung suspension bridge. Yung, ano pa, yung... Tubig, ayan, yung nakikita nyo sa last image, yung kanyang uh, direction, ayan, no? nakikita nyo para siyang letter U na pabaligtad. Okay, so yung graph kasi ng quadratic function is either uh, letter U siya or opens upward ba siya or opens downward. So malalaman nyo yung pinagkaiba ng opens downward and opens upward na yan sa mga susunod ko pang video lessons. So, yun lang po yung uh, real-life applications ng quadratic functions. So, marami pa ang real-life applications ng quadratic functions. So, iilan lang po yung pinakita ko sa inyo. So, what is quadratic function? A quadratic function is an equation that can be written in the form of y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a should not be equal to 0. As you can see, present pa rin dyan yung ax squared plus bx plus c. And then kapag inequate nga natin yung quadratic function into 0, so magiging quadratic equation siya. Okay? And then the highest exponent in a quadratic function is 2. Okay? So kung tinanong kayo ano yung degree ng quadratic function, ang sasagot lang po natin is 2. So yung degree po kasi ng linear equation or linear function is 1. So, therefore, the degree of the quadratic function is 2. Furthermore, the graph of a quadratic function is a smooth curve called parabola. Okay. So, nakita nyo na kanina yung graph ng quadratic functions gamit yung real-life applications niya. Okay. Yung McDonald, yung pagtalbog ng bola, yung suspension breed, yung tubig. Okay. So, ang tawag po dun sa smooth curve na yon na graph ng quadratic function is parabola. Okay. So, ang parabola na yan, mabibigyan po yan ng uh, uh, deep uh, discussion sa mga susunod kong video lesson. So, anyway, introduction pa lang naman ang ating uh, ine-explain dito. 
So, representing quadratic function. So, how do we represent quadratic function? So, quadratic functions may be represented in different ways. This includes the use of table of values, graphs, and equations. So, ayan, ipapakita ko po sa inyo yan isa-isa para madidistinguish nyo na, ah, ang quadratic functions pala pwede siyang i-represent using table, using graphs, and equations. So, we can represent quadratic functions using a table of values. Like, for example, we have uh, problem number 1. So, represent John's saving in a week using a table of values whose function is given by y is equal to x squared plus 5. So, using a table of values, ayan, makikita nyo na yung uh, x natin is yung day. So, in a week ang pinag-uusapan natin, therefore, there are 7 days in a week. So, kung makikita nyo, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then, yung savings naman natin, yung y. Okay, so, ibig sabihin dito, yung day, yung x, will serve as the independent variable. And then, yung savings naman ang magiging dependent variable. So, paano ko nasabing independent variable yung day, tsaka dependent variable yung savings? It's because, nakadepende sa araw, ang magiging savings ni John. Okay. So, paano nakuha yung 6, 9, 14, 21, 30, 41, 54? So, ang gagawin lang po natin is, isa-substitute natin yung values of x dun sa given function, which is y is equal to x squared plus 5. Like, for example, if we substitute 1 in place of x, so, magiging 1 squared, that is 1, plus 5. Therefore, the answer is 6. Okay. And then, if we substitute 2, so that is 2 squared, 4 plus 5, kaya naging 9. And then, dun sa 7, 7 squared, that is 49, plus 5, kaya naging 54. So, all we have to do here is to substitute the value of x. And then, kapag na-substitute natin yung value ng x dun sa given function, lilitaw po yung output, yung output values, which is yung savings. As you can see, during the first day, ang savings ni... Uh, John is 6 pesos. And then on the 7th day, ang savings niya is 54 pesos. Next, meron tayo ditong first difference and second difference. So, sa quadratic function po kasi, chinecheck natin yung first difference and second difference. Okay. So, bakit uh, merong first and second? Bakit hindi na lang first? It's because kapag first difference po kasi, hindi po constant yung nakukuhang difference. So, makukuha lang po yung constant na difference during the second difference. So, sa pangalawa. Okay. So, paano natin kukunin yon? So, ganito lang po yan. So, what is the difference between 6 and 9? That is 3. So, 9 minus 6, that is 3. 14 minus 9, that is 5. As you can see, hindi constant yung difference. 3 tapos naging 5. And then, 21 minus 14, that is 7. And then, 30 minus 21, that is 9. 41 minus 30, that is 11. And 54 minus 41, that is 13. So, ayan. Malinaw na malinaw yung first difference po is hindi constant. Okay? Magkakaiba po yung nakuha nating difference. And then, on the second difference, dito naman, makikita natin na constant na yung difference. Ibig sabihin, common na yung difference. So, what is the difference between 3 and 5? So, that is 2. 5 minus 3, 2. 7 minus 5, 2. 9 minus 7, that is 2. 11 minus 9, that is 2. And then, 13 minus 11, that is 2. As you can see, ayan, sa second difference, nakita natin na common difference nila is 2. Okay, hindi katulad ng first difference, magkakibang number. So, sa second difference, pare-pareho na pong uh, 2 yung ating nakuha. So, let's have another example. Evaluate y is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 3 when x is equal to negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So, since table of values ang pinag-uusapan natin, so, yung table of values po kasi ginagamit po siya sa pag-graph ng quadratic functions. So, ayan. So, kukunin po natin yung y values given yung x values. So, paano yon? So, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, isa substitute lang po natin. So, if x is equal to negative 2, so y equals 
x squared minus 2x plus 3. So, is substitute natin yung negative 2. y is equal to the quantity of negative 2 squared minus 2 times negative 2 plus 3. And then y is equal to negative 2 squared that is positive 4. And then negative 2 times negative 2 that is positive 4 plus 3. Okay, and then y is equal to 4 plus 4 plus 3, that is 11. So, if x is equal to negative 2, then y is equal to 11. Next, if x is equal to negative 1, what will be the value of y? So, y equals negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1 plus 3. And then, negative 1 squared, that is positive 1. Negative 2 times negative 1, that is positive 2, plus 3. Okay, and then y is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3, that is 6. And then, if the value of 0, okay, the value of x is 0. So, ang pinakamadali lang po dito is kunin lang natin yung constant term. It's because kapag sinabstitute natin yung 0 in place of x sa quadratic function natin, magiging 0 po yan. Therefore, y is equal to 3. Okay, yung pong constant term. Yun lang po yung value ng y. Next, if x is equal to 1, so y is equal to the quantity 1 squared minus 2 times 1 plus 3. And then y equals 1 squared that is 1, negative 2 times 1 that is negative 2 plus 3. And then 1 minus 2, that is negative 1, plus 3, that is positive 2. And then, if the value of x is 2, so y is equal to the quantity 2 squared minus 2 times 2 plus 3. Okay. y equals 2 squared, that is 4. Negative 2 times 2, that is negative 4, plus 3. Then y equals 4 minus 4, that is 0. So, plus 3. So, y equals 3. So, ayan. Upon substituting the values of x, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, may mga nakuha po tayong y values. So, yung nakuha nating results kanina na y values, ayan, nasa table na po, nakasummarize para maging guided tayo sa pagkuha ng first difference and second difference. So, dun muna tayo sa first difference. Okay, so what is the difference between 11 and 6? As you can see, pababa and then tumaas on the last uh, x value. Okay, so anong difference ng 11 and 6? That is negative 5. Yung 6 and 3, ang difference is negative 3. And then 3 and 2, negative 1. And then yung 2 and 3, ano ang difference nila? Positive 1. So, Nakita nyo yung first difference, pataas. So, negative 5, negative 3, negative 1, and 1. So, kukunin ngayon natin yung second difference. Tignan natin kung constant na ba. So, what is the difference between negative 5 and negative 3? So, the difference is 2. It's because negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. And then, negative 3 and negative 1, the difference is also 2. Last one, negative 1 and 1, the difference is positive 2. As you can see, parehong 2 na po lahat ang ating mga nakuhang difference. So, after we represent uh, quadratic functions using table of values, the second uh, way naman to represent quadratic function is using a graph. So, the graph of a quadratic function is a smooth curve called parabola. And then, an axis of symmetry can be drawn to cut the graph in perfect half. And then, the turning point of a parabola is called vertex. So, para mas maging aware kayo dyan sa mga terms na yan, so let's have the illustration of the graph of a quadratic function. So, yan po ang itsura ng graph ng quadratic function. So, again, Smooth curve po siya called parabola. So, para siyang letter U. 
kapag opens upward. And then, pabaligtad naman na U kapag open downward. Okay? And then, as you can see, meron tayong term kanina na axis, axis of symmetry. So, ayan, nakikita nyo po dyan sa figure yung broken line. Okay? Yung kulay blue. So, ayan, nakapangalan is axis of symmetry. So, kapag din drawing po yung axis of symmetry sa graph ng quadratic function, nahati po siya into two equal parts. So, perfect half po yung pagkahati. Okay. So, and then, meron tayong turning point ng parabola na tinatawag na vertex. So, yung vertex po na yan, ayan po. So, yung vertex po, dalawang types po yan. Meron po siyang uh, minimum point at maximum point. So, yung minimum point and maximum points na yan, i-explain ko po yan sa susunod kong video lessons kapag nag na po tayo ng quadratic function. Okay. So, after we represent um, quadratic functions using graph, so, the third and last uh, way to represent a quadratic function is through an equation. So, the general form of a quadratic function is written as y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. So, let's have an example of uh, the general form of quadratic function. So, ayan. So, y is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 6. So, let us identify the values of a, b, and c. So, Yung numerical coefficient po ng x squared is 1. So, the value of a is 1. Next, the numerical coefficient of negative 8x is negative 8. And then, yung constant term natin, yung walang variable, okay, 6. So, the value of c is 6. So, yan lang po yung tamang pag-identify ng values po ng a, B, and C ng general form of a quadratic function. So, we can also represent quadratic functions using the standard form or vertex form, which is y is equal to a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. For example, y is equal to the quantity of x minus 4 squared minus 10. So, ano ang, ang ibig sabihin ng variable a dito? So, yung variable a po dito ang nagpe-predict kung ano ang uh, opening ng parabola. Kung upward ba or downward. And then, yung h and k naman po dito, yun po yung vertex ng parabola. Okay. So, yung vertex, sabi ko nga, minimum point and maximum point. So, yung vertex na yan, Yung value ng A na yan, yung minimum and maximum points, axis of symmetry, is i-discuss ko po yan kapag ang topic na natin is graphing of quadratic functions. So, after natin i-discuss yung uh, introduction ng quadratic functions, where nakita nyo yung uh, real-life applications ng quadratic functions, and then yung three ways on how to represent quadratic functions using table of values, graphs, and equations. So, our next video lesson is we will transform quadratic functions from general form to vertex form and vice versa. So, yung huling way, way natin kanina is yung using an equation. So, where in nakita nyo yung general form tsaka yung standard form or vertex form. Okay. So, ito transform natin yung mga quadratic functions sa forms na yan. Okay. So, general form to vertex form muna and then vertex form to general form. So, yun lang. Maraming salamat.